Here we are in the third semester of this little thesis, this little class, this little schoolroom discussion, show and tell, call it what you want. We're in the third semester of timing this Maytag Model 92 without no tool. Well, I would be, I would not be living up to my credentials as a free thinker. So what I'm going to do, and I was going to, we was going to, we was going to time this engine tonight. But I think what I will do is we're going to go on a side trip. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to make one of those tools. They say that there is one tool in existence to adjust these points, a fixture, so to speak, something that came from the factory, no less. There's only one of them. Well, this is your lucky, well, let's just say uh, we're going to build one of those little tools to do that with. I'm going to show you how to do it. And I've done already, I laid in this piece of, it's one and three quarter inch, 12, L14 steel, oh, it turns like a dream. But sometimes in order to, you know, I figured if they was, if somebody made one of those tools, this was just my thinking. Well, my, I, I was just thinking when I was reading about this thing, I done been reading up on it. And they say there's one of them, somebody's seen it, somebody owns it even. They got it into possession. So I figured if, if, if anybody could build one of those tools, I could. So we're going to do that. We're going to follow right along here on the video. This is the blueprint. This part right down here. That's what we're going to go by. I just kind of made some short, some sketches by, you know, just putting a ruler in there. And I want that to be about an inch long. And it's supposed to stick out about three inches. Okay. We, we need a piece of material a total of four inches long, which I'm going to saw that off in the bandsaw. It's on standby. And then I'm going to turn it down in the lathe over there. It'll be a one inch step on it to go down in that hole gunner. And that will be turned down to the dimension one and five eighths. We're going to turn that down on the lathe. A sharp corner right here. We, we want a sharp corner because there's two ways to go about this. I could put a pin in it down here to uh, so at a bottom out, I can put a pin down there. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put a sharp shoulder when you uh, insert that into this bore here, then it will just bottom out right there. There's two ways, there's three or four ways to go about that. I'm just choosing the easy one. And then I'll turn down the outside of the material up there, just where it cleans up, whatever size it is. Well, I may not even measure it, just a clean up cut. I, I will measure this right here with the ruler, one inch there, give or take. It don't have to, it's within an eighth of an inch, you'd be okay. But anyway, we're going to get on with building this little thing right here. And this is all you need to know right now. Just lay in the material, turn your piece of this size right here, and we'll talk about it some more when we get back to it. I done it again. I done it again. I made another cut while I had this bandsaw going, while I was cutting metal. I like to cut metal with that bandsaw. And while I was at it, I went on ahead and made another cut on a smaller piece, 1214L steel. And what I'm going to make out of this is, is I don't have a, I don't have a bushing guide right there for that size hole for to cut the seats in this head. So I'm going to, out of this piece of material, I will cut a, actually the, the valve in yonder uh, is bigger, so I will cut it for that size, but I'll make a drill guide is what I'm working on there. That's, that's a subject of another matter. The subject at hand is this tool we go, we're making, and, and all it is, I done cut the steel, and it will be right in yonder when we get done with it. Just keep that in mind. We'll get back to the blueprint that we're working with. I'll show you something. We 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 have not talked about them. We've not talked about them points yet. And and and, and this this little thing right here is the reason for these videos. This little thing right here by itself, that's a reason for these videos. It's it's a point of a lot of 
discussion. Because right here is two which uh, immediately you can tell that they're different. You see, this one's got this ear here. This one, and and this this may be. I've done talked about this, but it's it's important enough to bring it up to where we're at right now because we're, well, this this right. You you actually don't do not need the tool to set this little thing with. The tool works with this with this right here. It lines up here. And there they are two of these. There is there is as far as difference. This one right here, you see he's got that pin in there. It's a large size right here. You see that little that little pin in there coming out of that set of points? It don't have no name on it. I, I'm sure that these are aftermarket. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not positive on that, but there's no name on it, and this is smaller right here. It takes a different arm for this set or this set here, either either of these other ones, which has the large. The way I the way I look at it is when you bring an engine home, immediately take all of this stuff apart. Know what that see that appears to be a really good set of points right there. When when you got that set of points and you took them home, possibility you just put them on the engine and assume that it's off and going. There's a possibility that whoever had this right here steam cleaned this engine, took it to the car wash and washed it down there to get the extra dollar from it. And okay, if he did that and he got water in yonder and he come home and blowed it off with an air hose, you come along and bought it at the flea market, then a possibility of that water in there would ground it out. I'm just saying, when you get stuff like this home, take it apart, look at all of the parts, somebody put it together, so, you know, somebody out there knows that, uh, how to put it back together? It's in the book. They know it's no secret. But you do need to take this apart. In all seriousnessly, take this apart. Get it. Get it out where you know what you've got. Be be careful with that spring right there. So hard to get little item. But you disassemble all this. Just get her apart. You can It'll only go back one way. The correct way. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that or not. But y'all see that? Glossy. It looks. It looks. It kind of looked wet across through there. I don't think. It, I don't think it was. Probably some. Uh, could be oil. A lot of chemicals will short the system out. So you want to clean all this up, clean it really, really good, and put it all back together. Now they are in these. These two holes right here are bigger than the bolt that goes in it. And what the reason that is is this little. You see them two little fiber. Them little fiber washers right there, okay, that those are insulating washers. And, and they go in that hole right there. That's where they go at. It's obvious. Anybody can know where that, would know that. Okay, you put all of that goes in there. You got two of these insulating blocks, two screws, two lock washers, and somebody's put stainless steel nuts on this right here. I kind of advise against it, but if it's all you got, it's a good choice. This spring right here, uh, that's a good one. That's a real nice one right there. Okay, we'll use that. We, we, we're going to put them back together. We're going to put a set of points together. Hey, and this is a good candidate to even use on the engine if we want to use this. Okay, we'll just use this one right here. I mean, it's okay. It's, it's, it's probably what you've got there at home. The, the points are, you know, they're not good, but they're not bad. they got some issues there. We'll have to work that with a stone. Uh, but it's, there, it's got enough length there where I can straighten them up flat, true to theirself, true to the bottom part. Yeah, I'm not going to do one, but just for discussion, this little point, the way that thing's made, it's kind of like a little rivet, and it just drops down in there, and then it was it was uh, a rivet machine, and it was rolled over on this end. That's all it was now. And I don't think nobody's making no replacement points for these right here that I know, so, you know, I just, I don't know a source for them. But this is a set we're going to use, and, um, uh, uh, the bottom part, oh, that's the bottom part looks really bad. Uh, you know, if you, if this is all you got, we're going to try to make do with it.